So we've talked about page design and from there we have content strategy and how we can tie and target our content when we're publishing. One of the things we like to think about is the different types of content management on your intranet. And this is a great article in the Nielsen Norman Group, basically where they shared the different patterns that they're seeing in terms of content management on the intranet. They're seeing a centralized, a distributed, and a hybrid approach to content management on your intranet. We'll go through these different models together. So the first one is a centralized content management model. This is a more of a traditional approach where you have content contributors, they're creating content, they're submitting it for approval to a central team, and then it gets published or approved on your intranet. So some of the benefits for this is we don't get unwanted content posted on our intranets. All content is reviewed and vetted, making sure you know it meets certain standards. Um, few people need to be trained and there's a holistic central team that's managing your content. Some of the drawbacks to this though is it can be time consuming. There is a smaller team, a central team that is managing this so it can slow down content production. The distributed content management model is a little different. It's where you have your content administrators, they're creating content and they're publishing it freely. They're editing it, they're creating it, they're pu publishing it on their intranet across their different sites. Again, some of the benefits here, greater sense of ownership and quicker content production cycle. So you're getting more content and there's that sense of ownership when people are creating the content. There are, however, some drawbacks when we're, we look at this specific model. There's more training required, more auditing of your content, making sure that con the quality is still there, that there's consistency and your tone of voice. If that's important to you, I wouldn't recommend this type of a model. And again, just content is siloed by department. So you may have one department doing it, content one way and another one doing it in an entirely different fashion. And, you know, we've seen both models that content owners gravitate towards both the kind of centralized model, which a lot of smaller organizations prefer to do. And then there's a few brave souls that will want to do a distributed model. Um, and it's an aspect of trust as well, right? You want to make sure the tone, the content that gets published is resonates with the company's brand and the messaging. So it's it's generally, you know, we, we see we see one or the other generally, and what you want to try to work towards is third model, which is kind of this hybrid model of publishing where you've got like a centralized team or a central process that allows you to kind of do a little bit of tricks and balances as content gets yeah. published. Um, this doesn't have to be necessarily always a formal process where it has to go through an approval system, but it needs to be something where there's like a backlog of content that's being published, posted. In some organizations, they'll go ahead and post it, but they'll still have somebody do content reviews as content's getting published on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. So the, the key here is to make sure that you enable and allow your leaders and your teams and your owners, the site owners, department owners, department leads to start publishing, creating content and make sure you have some sort of a champion and counsel to help support their publishing models as well. So always good to have a little bit of checks and balance to make sure that you're taking that opportunity to train and educate and get everybody kind of aligned on what content is actually engaging, what content do we want to publish and uh, does the voice resonate with our brand. So when we get to recommendations, again, depending on your culture, depending on your size of your organization, there's no right or wrong way, like Camel was saying, you could choose one based on your needs. But again, there should always be a vision and knowing the goals for your intranet and who is responsible for those. Um, you must train those content producers. So if it's a smaller group or it's a distributed group, a lot of different people creating content, they need to be trained. So you need to think about that and account for that. And there should be some kind of governance and that should be communicated across your organization. So there is that set of standards and guidelines used when creating content.